Chrissy Carvanides. I am a costume designer for theater, film, and television with a focus on television. I've done such projects as Carnival, American Horror Story, the first season, and American Dreams, which I got an Emmy Award. I became a costume designer originally thinking that I wanted to become a fashion designer and I saw a couple of movies in the early 70s about being a fashion designer and I thought that is me. I love to make clothes. I started making clothes at a very early age and then I worked in the fashion business at 17. I left Biddeford, Maine and went to New York City and hit the streets. Got a job very quickly because I could sew very well only to realize that wasn't really what I wanted. I didn't want to follow trend reports and do variations on a theme of what is the color for this season and the shape. I, I, I was hoping that it was going to be more artistic, that I would look at paintings and do an interpretation of that painting and look at the psychology of a human being as to why they made those certain choices or different choices. And very quickly, I discovered that I should try theater. And my first theater production was a little play in Bitterford, Maine for like $500. And it was um, Taming the Shrew. <laughs> and I made everything, but I found my, my passion. A costume designer's role in, is integral to the storytelling to help create and in many ways, we are the conduit for the performers, for the, the script writer, and for the directors of helping our actors discover their character from the veneer of the things that they put on their body. We, um, it's not about styling the clothing for like a photo shoot. It's more about discovering a character and is that character, what economic background is that character from? Is that character having a disastrous day or should we not convey anything and then all of a sudden things start turning for the worse and it doesn't get any better like an American Horror Story where everybody starts to become deceased? Um, or it's a period story or it's about fantasy, but we, we gather things that are from vintage, from contemporary, things that don't exist already that we create from scratch. We just like, we're like magpies, pulling it all together to come up with who is this person and what is the story that they have to tell. And we help our performers create that story. I did the first episodic TV project for HBO called From the Earth to the Moon. It's about the Apollo space program. And it was really an incredible experience. No one had ever done episodic pro film producing at that level before. And it turned out to be 12 mini movies. Went from 1959 to 1973. I loved every part of the process where we went to um, Houston, we went to Florida, we found the actual spacesuits. We copied them. Even when you twisted the armature around the wrist, we had all the beads and all the mechanisms exactly like the real spacesuit. And then there was the day, the first day of shooting, when Dave Scott, who actually went and walked on the moon, and uh, he saw the spacesuits and he just started shaking and he's like, oh my God, they are more than perfect. They are so real. It's bringing back all the memories of what it was like to be stuck in those um, Apollo spaceships. So that was, that was incredibly gratifying. Now I am doing a project again for HBO. It's with Holly Hunter and Tim Robbins and it's called Here Now and it's a dark family comedy that will be coming out in about six or eight months. I love doing science fiction. I love doing big period epics. I haven't done big enough. It has, I, I'm always hunting for bigger, better, more. I don't wanna stop. I hope I can keep designing all the way into my 80s.